Hi, I'm Coach Zoe, and through these lessons, I'm going to walk through flag football drills designed to improve your skills and teach you the best offense and defensive strategies. Running backs are an important position in every offense, as they often carry the football to crucial first downs or last second touchdowns. So in today's drill, the angle of pursuit, you get into groups of three and practice some running plays. Here's how it works. One person is the center who hikes the ball, one is the quarterback who hands it off, and the last one is the running back who receives the ball. There are designated running lanes, or holes on each side of the quarterback. It's their job to determine the play, calling out a hole in the side so that the running back knows where to go. There are designated running lanes or holes on each side of the quarterback. Eye numbers to the left, one, three, and five, and even to the right, two, four, and six. It's the quarterback's job to determine the play, calling out the hole inside so that the running back knows where to go. For example, if you're going to hand off the ball to the right, in the four hole, you'll call four right. If you're planning on handing off the ball to the left side, in the one hole, you should say one left. Then you'll call hike, just like in a game. Once you have the football, face the sideline and step diagonally toward the designated hole. As the running back approaches, extend the ball with both hands and place it right in their belly. Try to create a soft, smooth landing as they run by. When taking the handoff, it's important to keep your inside arm up and your outside arm down. This will help you create a wide pocket where the quarterback can securely place the ball. After the quarterback hands it off to you, tuck it close and tight against your body and, well, run. Running with the ball takes a little technique too. You want to hold it close to your ribs so that it doesn't easily pop out as you make your way downfield. Keep it secure with your outside hand, making sure to cover both tips of the ball. In this drill, the center actually has two jobs. First, you'll snap the ball to the quarterback, and then you'll become a defensive player. Right after you hike, try to beat the running back to the hole and remove their flag. After your group has run the drill once, rotate positions and take on a new role. As you gain some confidence in each position, try doing the drill at game speed to make the most of your skills. Good luck and have fun. In our next lesson, we'll talk about the best way to kick and punt the football. So get those leg stretches in. Signing off with your nutrition tip of the day. Look for foods with whole grains. Take bread, for example. Whole wheat bread is made from all components of the grain. So it typically contains more fiber and has a higher nutritional value than white bread. When you look at ingredient lists in things like bread or pasta, Pick the ones that list whole wheat or whole oats first. To learn more about Fuel Up to Play 60, a leading school health and wellness program nationwide, visit www.fueluptoplay60.com. If you're interested in finding an NFL flag football league near you, visit nflflag.com.